This is Flash, and we got Larry Woods and Rob Works hanging out in the back, waiting for me to do my thing all over you. And we got Thanks Grim up front <laughs> for letting us play here with our strange sense of musical interest and ideas. So if you're in a chatting mood, go over to the real liberty com and open up the chat room. And in there, you'll find bots and potatoes alike. We've got Barbie, Beetle, Grimner, Moose Girl, Kate, Anti, Asmo, Circundo, Chloe, Dan Van Meter, me, Flash Somebody, Graham Z, hey, Miss Mary, Java Doctor, T, Jay's Nines, Jay's Meister Brow, Prince, Rob Works, the Bubbler, trust no one. Uff, Vanna White, Weather Dork, the Phantom, Chloe again, Cyborg Noodle, and the Civ, Frumpy from Canada, Guest, 58250, Larry Woods 01, Matt WJ2002, Ponstas, Smiles and Elias Roger. So if you got some questions for Larry or Rob, because they're the question people, you can always type them in the chat room. So tonight I called this show, you guys, in uh, in honor of the present day. The brain dead are in control. What do you think? <laughs> I love it. It's true, it's true, they're everywhere, they're everywhere. Yep. I don't know if we got zombies for real now or what. Yeah. Put me in the ball. Yep, don't don't forget to wear your mask as you're jogging down the street in the open air with nobody else anywhere near. Uh but fun times. Really? Fun times. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Have you been reading about other countries that are taking the ass winning as badly or worse? Uh, yeah, and people are getting sick. Yes, in the northern hemisphere, it's becoming worse. Well, did you see that flu is almost completely been eradicated? Absolutely. I just <laughs> love it. <laughs> One little cold season completely kills the flu. Yeah, you, you got to take your wins. Yeah. But see, now that everybody's had it, everybody's going to be immune to it. So it's over. No, they changed it like they did on 9-11 when they changed the laws of physics. Oh. They changed it. Yeah, now you don't get immune to stuff when you catch it. Yeah, it doesn't work anymore. They changed the oh. laws. They changed the laws of physics again. Wow. Well, you see, things change all the time. I just got to keep up with the new. Yeah, world. it's hard to keep up, man. They keep changing the rules all the time. Yeah. Well, welcome to Palestine. Enjoy the occupation. Pretty much. Well, it's so slow and subtle. I don't know how how heavily the Danes are really involved in this. But the public opinion is against, uh, predominantly against the COVID threat. So they still have an audience, but it's down to like 20%. There. And, that's what the, and that's what the people, the bean counters, will report to you. So, eh, who knows what's true, you know what I mean? All right, Oh, yeah, I'm going to put all my stock in Hensel. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though. If something's happening in the world, and you don't hear about it on RLM, huh. in the chat, Yeah. Uh, nobody heard about it. Cause <laughs> well, I, uh, I, I asked a couple of times about the riots, and pretty much got told I was, it's nothing to, nothing to be concerned about. The riots? So. Uh, yeah, this I'm in Denmark, Bob. In case you forgot, in no. in America for the last few months there was rioting and just you know, uh -uh. social unrest. Okay, 
I haven't seen any rioting or any other bullshit. It's been fucking dead yeah, quiet. That, that stuff is highly overrated. It's been happening in the ghettos in New York, and it's been happening in, in California and in Oregon and in Washington and the, the big, huge Democratic cities. I've heard all these reports. Nothing. I've heard no, all these right. reports, but, but I see no way. Democratic evidence. Republican split. It's like the Karen thing. The um, it's a posturing position. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I know that for fuck's sake. I thought, well, it, thought the, it it's the sanctuary cities where all this crap's happening. Yeah, the Democratic run crap, right? Yeah. Out of the Republican this, Democrat, this is supposed to make the Democrats look bad. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it, it goes back and forth. They're both assholes, but... Well, I mean, mm, no. My, my Democrat aunt cleaned this whole, uh, <laughs> whole understanding thing up for me years ago. She said, in response to something about Hillary, that was true. Oh, you're just making that up to make Hillary look bad. Yeah. <laughs> now she does that all on her own. Grim's got the right answer, though. So don't worry about it. The rioters only burn their own neighborhoods. Yeah. Well, right. But see, that, okay, there's the point that I really get to is where are those people going to go to from there? <laughs> Not a word in the whole fucking world for months about what happened to the people that got burned out when they did get burned out. Just evaporated. Not, a, not important. We don't want to talk about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, here I am, months down the road. Still, nobody wants to talk about it. If, if you look at the, if you look at the urban renewal projects in those cities, mm -hmm. the riots and the burnings and the lootings all happened in urban renewal areas where they want to go in and knock down all the buildings anyway. Oh, and they're going to do like they did. Where was that? Saudi Arabia. Just, they're just burning out the people. Yeah, and they're going to build up fresh. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot quicker and easier than trying to go through eminent domain and go through the whole court process and everything. Yep. Enjoy the anarchy. France just went on another uh, national curfew. Cirk was telling me that earlier. Yeah, today. yeah. But holy Some other place, fuck. too. It's, like, it's only two countries away. These people will not let go of this freaking fantasy goddamn COVID. A lot of money behind it. Yep. Well, and outside of uh, not wanting to go to a public establishment wearing a mask, I'm not really hindered anywhere else. But uh, if I would just give in, I would have nothing to complain about. Yeah. yeah. But I, I really don't do see how anybody's going to keep a mask on me after four beers. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just cutting yours with a pair of scissors to see what you'll do. And that's four beers, how are you going to put mine back on me? So, that's a major reason I don't drink anymore. If I can't smoke and drink at the same time, I can't go. It's no fun, Larry. They're ruining no everything. <laughs> Hey, you got a fishing report for us. Yeah, it was yeah. dismal all week long, ice cold, rainy, and uh, strong winds, and I didn't go. Oh. And, today, and, to, and today it's 84 degrees, and oh. tomorrow it's going to be 43 degrees. <laughs> we just That's fucked your whole fishing day up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not really. The wind's blowing really hard okay. today. I just blow anyway. me off the water. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah. Still funny. Yeah, I'll go next week or over the weekend or something. I'll get there. I want to be a pirate, not a Palestinian, damn it. <laughs> Hell yeah. I want well, to be I'm going I'm gonna laugh at your misfortune and feel good about myself. <laughs> go, to, go to Somalia. No, that would be like going on a diet. Those people that go, hey, I can't lose weight. Got a cure for that. Spend 30 <laughs> days in Kenya. <laughs> Just the aroma of the people will make you not eat so much. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a completely different culture. 
Yeah. They try to mix all of these cultures together and they come up with this fucking bent soup that doesn't taste worth the fuck. Now they got all these places are all mixed and everybody's got what they want politically and all the people are all miserable. <laughs> so what's coming, you know? What did the French do? Hmm. Yeah. Anybody yeah. remember their history classes? Um, guys? Um, chopped off a bunch of their leaders' heads with guillotines? Yeah, something serious like that, I think. Called the French Revolution? Yeah, well, if the crap that I've seen over the last, say, ten months are true, right? Mm -hmm. About the West. The shit that's coming after the election is way worse than the shit that's happened in the last ten months. Yeah. Well, uh, okay. Should we just, like, ignore it? Maybe it'll not happen. Uh, rumor has it they already brought the guillotines, so they've already got them set up in boxcars and everything for us. Well, that would be for the little people. Well, yeah, that's what they want, but that doesn't mean that's <laughs> what we have to use them for. <laughs> little people. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, were we getting rid of the midgets first? <laughs> I hope not. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> we're hard, we're hard she comes to the front of the, the line, class. <laughs> yeah, but you big tall people wear out faster running than us. I'm not all that tall. Before we get in trouble. So I'm all a 5'9 with shoes on. Wow. Now they're making a fun of me. I don't know how to spell guillotine. G U I L L O T I N E. Oh, there it is. I had an A instead of an O. Calm down, Rob. I got Graham stuff here, too. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anywho. So. The fuck else we got? The brain dead are actually in control, and they may change captains in a couple of weeks. They may keep the captain they got now. Things are really in the air. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I disagree a little bit with that. <laughs> oh, that ought to be fun. Come on. Well, uh, the brain dead aren't the ones in control. The brain dead are the only ones the people in control to get, can get to work for them. Yeah, because nobody else wants to do the shit they want done. Nobody will. Well, it, it's just like I cops. Mean, they won't hire pet cops with a, with an IQ over 100 or 90 or whatever it is, or 80 in some places. Um, Barney. They can't. They, <laughs> yeah, they don't want intelligent, critically thinking people. Yeah, they can't follow orders. Yeah, all they want is somebody who's just smart enough to do what they're told and not think about it. Hmm. And that's the whole thing, the whole entire uh, public fool system is geared towards is creating obedient workers. Thank you, George. Oh, yeah, that. Thank that you, George know. Carlin. Yep. Maybe that's Rockefeller and Henry Ford. The owners of this place. And, and Henry Ford was uh, very generous in his, in his way, you know, compared to the other other people I worked for. Yeah. He he was nicer to his slaves than some other companies were. Yeah. But still in the in the long run, the amount of money that, that these industries trade in, they don't treat the workers worth a buck. Well no. no. Well that's because the dollar gets evaluated every year, but it gets blamed on shit that's got nothing to do with it at all except for our banking system is corrupt. Well yeah. The more the more you put into circulation, the less each one is worth. It's not rocket science. It must be because they don't understand the movement in debt, Rob. I know. I've been screaming at them for thirty two fucking years. Well, I've been enjoying the ride for my entire life because I understand it as being a debt based economy. So if the money that you use is money that's owed to somebody else already. What the fuck difference does it make? Uh, how you come up with it, where it came from, or how much you have. It's all bullshit. 
scam. That's why I like our system so much. We're going to sell them back their own power. Yeah. See? Fuck them in the you neck. Know, Larry. Hey, Miss, Miss Girl had a good idea us. for a new show. Yeah. The It's All Corrupted Show. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that doesn't narrow it down too much, does it? Oh, uh, yeah. Narrows it down it to... Uh, well, they all, well, I mean, that's just... Uh, they all suck in a whole other... I, I saw uh, a history uh, channel show this week about uh, uh, conspiracy theories. Oh, yeah. And it was, it was obviously made by the FBI... Because they're saying conspiracy theory nuts are just nuts. Because there ain't no such thing. Everybody's just getting wild ideas and, and putting them on the Internet and stuff. And it was just, you knew it was an establishment movie. Blatant propaganda yeah. piece. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, when, when you go and look at history... Yeah, of any kind, even mainstream uh, official quote quote history, conspiracy is the norm. Conspiracy, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they they name it all through the history books. It's all about conspiracy. There was every fucking thing that ever happened was started with a conspiracy. Sure, somebody plotting against somebody else. Yeah. That's but but all of a sudden today, no, 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 conspiracies don't happen anymore. We stopped that. When did we stop that, Flash? When did we, <laughs> when did we make conspiracies, uh, when did we ban conspiracies? I think probably came out of the LSD experiments in the 60s with CIA. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because before all that, it was very controlled. The Russians were the bad guys. Yeah. The Chinese were the bad guys. Yeah. Any anybody black, they're the bad guys. Yeah, the Jews, yeah, yeah, you love yeah. the Jews. Yeah, I remember and, yeah. Yeah. and now yeah, it's the yeah, United yeah. Nations. So you figure it out. <sighs> I don't wanna. See, it's all about money and I did figure it out. is different than the stuff that takes place. A lot of the United Nations. Uh, good luck, Charlie. How are you gonna do that? Boy, I don't know, but I think that would be a good organization to shut down. Okay, Graham, thanks. Now what? Well, Larry has a great idea, but no way to accomplish it. What? Testing, test, test. Tell our testing. Okay, I'm done. Was, uh, was he a little on the high side? Huh? I mean, yeah. A little uh, raspy and uh, un- un- understandable. Grim <laughs> said better. <laughs> I was I was catching a contact buzz off this bubble. Yeah, enjoy your buzz. There you go. Enjoy your buzz. Bubble it. Bubble it up, everybody. So I was I was looking through the hits on the uh, past shows on Bit Shoot for us, and the show four weeks ago hit 175. And I thought, damn, people are actually interested in what we're talking about. You know, probably you know, Grandpa. The, well, it's probably about the, the science stuff that you guys have. You know, well, it's nice to be part of this. But I don't have much to interject this week as far as questions. I don't know what to ask about. You have to tell me what's going on in the future yourself, Larry. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I have to tell we, you what's going on in the going future. On. Wait a minute. Somebody broke my crystal ball. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. What I mean is, where we are in history in, in this specific period of time at the moment, we should be light years ahead of where we are technologically. Oh, fuck it. But we're, we're, held back, we're held back by the very people that preach to us how good we're doing. And, and I don't think there's a lot of people that understand it to the level that Larry does. Or can explain it in a simple way that he does. So don't don't take offense, Rob. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I never <Well>, have. <laughs> they, we're not the only people that can do this. Let's start out by saying that you said that you say it every show. I hope you say it every show. Well, yeah, it could be true. There, there's yeah. thousands of people out there that can produce some kind of over unity 
just by spinning the wheel with magnets. Uh, it, that's a, a basic concept that you play with in school. And so some people are drawn to it by instinct. Yeah, it's just like fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's an entertainment to you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I ordered another hundred magnets this week because I'm going to be building all back arrays. Uh, that's that's fun. Well, that's because you, sir, are what we in the cool world call a nerd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Closet nerd in all of us. Well, it it's fun and dangerous at the same, at the same time. time. Yeah, those little magnets will pop a blood blister on your finger and a heartbeat. So it's like dirt bike riding without falling off the bike. That's it. That's yeah, it. That rush. Yeah, hey, yeah. I didn't fall. Cool. <laughs> but I'll, I'll get them all out and set them in a long row and mark the polarity on everything and start stacking. <laughs> a whole back array just has... A, a little bit more north than south or the other way around, one way or another. And it's an easy thing to build. Well, you know what? When people start sending you complaints on the Internet through your email, you know you've succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> and they start accusing you of you know, doing stuff you didn't do. That's when you know that you're important. Well, so, I, right I, now, I generally... Uh, the way my memory is anymore, I generally believe people when they tell me that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Experiment with enough crap and you know, you'll end up right where Larry's at. <laughs> it's got a good and a bad side to it. True wisdom is breaking so much stuff that you know how to fix some of it. That's right. Okay, you wacky. What's your favorite um, conspiracy theory? Well, conspiracy yeah. theory. Yeah. Nassar. Well, you know, like, oh, well, what does the system, it's always the system that's accusing the person talking about a truth, and then they call that a conspiracy theory to make it look bad, like the Federal Reserve Bank. And they'll go, well, the conspiracy theorists are at it again, but they're <laughs> propaganda against the Federal Reserve Bank. And you all know how nice we are. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, is that not the fucking game that these idiots play with their little fucking $3,000 suits on the news? Yeah. Well, yeah. Look at me. I'm successful. Be like me. I follow the market. No, you don't. I mean, you got to remember, there's 300 million people in America, and 99% of them don't know how to think. Yeah. Yep. But they get their thinking uh, confused with feelings is what I've come to. The, I read it somewhere, and I, I think I believe it. Don't they teach kids in school anymore the poem about sticks and stones? I, don't, I haven't been in school lately because I'm a grown-up. <laughs> I don't know what they teach. But, but, no, but, you know what they, they teach kids in school now? They teach zero, zero tolerance. Teaching about chicks with dicks. Zero Yeah. Uh, Guns. Zero tolerance. You make a cookie in the shape of a gun, you get kicked out of school. It, that is so ridiculous. We used to shoot bows and arrows at each other in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world are you going to do with your finger? We used to throw spears at one another in the backyard. Lawn darts. <laughs> yeah, yard darts. <laughs> yard darts, I was growed up when yard darts came along. We used yep. rebar that was sharpened to a point. <laughs> the good old days. Yeah. yeah. See, and then yeah, it just yeah, yeah. me that we, yeah. we got all, all grew up to be the ages we are. And these these younger people are acting like such pussies over nothing. Yeah, you're yeah. You're I'm, I'm embarrassed for them. They're swinging through the trees in the woods, acting like Tarzan, falling out of the tops of willow trees, seeing how far up you can get. Yeah, and that was just the other day. <laughs> yeah, really. It seems place. like the other day sometimes, doesn't it? Hello? Wow. Hey. Am I on? No, you're here. Oops. You're here. Yeah, no, I'm just being ignored. Yep. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, shut up, bro. Yeah, you ever played splits? No. 
I, you, I don't know. You yet. start off two guys standing about six feet apart, and, and your feet about a foot apart. You take the pocket knife yeah. and you try to stick the knife in between your legs, yeah. or or to either side. Where really, if you stick the knife, that's where they have to put their foot, and you keep spreading them out until you, they can't stand up anymore. If you stick it right in the middle, they have to turn around backwards. Well, we you know, we used to play it the other way around. You start out with your feet as far apart as you can, and you throw it in between every time. Uh, and get them together. Uh huh. That's how my brother but taught nobody, me. But nobody ever fall down that way. Wow. <laughs> well, me and Grammy had a talk once about trust, and he used the value of money as an example of trusting people. And I tried to tell him at the time that, that it has nothing to do with how I value trusting people. And what you guys just explained, I don't trust anybody enough to play that game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, My brother was the one that taught used, me how to throw a knife. Yeah, we used to play bottle rocket wars. Hell yeah. We bottle rockets. Talk we, about freaking the fuck we, out if you did that today. Where's your kid? We'd be in the, the, the woods where you just wear sunglasses. <laughs> Hell wow. yeah. Compared to me, you guys are rebels. I was boring. Fuck. I just go to the beach and open That's my right. band and play music real loud late at night. But I didn't do any of that violent shit. Hell yeah. I, I used, used to get fancy little toys. toys. Get a piece of pipe and strap a handle onto it for your ball rocket. You have it in there with your little. Dang. No, when I look back at childhood, I didn't trust <laughs> people enough to play games like that with them because I'd probably fuck them up if I could get away with it. That's all I got them. So no, it didn't head. come up in my it didn't come up in my childhood. Yeah. So lucky me, because yeah. I was a mean little kid. Uh, now I see in my grown growing up days, I'm so nice. And there it goes. Telephone call for the drop in the call show. What you want? <laughs> what you got? I want twenty percent of everything you got. That's your exactly pal, what. Your pal AJ. Well, I started out with nothing. I got most of it left. So there you go. Hey, very commendable, sir. And you can thank the Jews for that too. I do. Every That's day. probably most of the responsibility of why we're in such a fucked up situation right now. It's because of the Jew banking we use. Yeah. And if you say that on you know, any kind of normal radio or T V you get fired. Wait, fired wait, wait, probably wait, wait, murdered. Wait. We're not normal. They'd find you assassinated. Yeah, no, the you know, the main I'm not I'm not, Oh now I'm, you want to be like I'll a state ended. like are you a Alfred state director? E. Alfred E. Newman said, Why be normal? <laughs> Don't let me go care. Why not? Pull a boo. <laughs> Have you seen Karen lately? <laughs> if that's fucking normal, which I'm sure it probably is, <laughs> I'm hoping it is. Uh, no. <laughs> well, I did a three. I did a one eighty off off the COVID stand I had from the beginning, and now I just hope it gets really bad and just gets real, rid of a whole fucking lot of people and shuts this place up for this COVID crap. Because they're playing off the threat of something, and no, no deed is coming through. So what are they going to do? They're running out of bullshit stories. Yeah, they're running out of flu victims. So they're going to have this great election here in two weeks, and that's going to fix everything? What? 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 <laughs> uh, it's it's going to stop everything if if Trump is elected, and everything is going to continue if Biden is elected. Okay, and you base that statement off of, because I'm not there to see it, Larry. I I need you to tell me. Biden said in one of the debates, I'm going to shut it down. I'm going to shut the country down. Yeah, lockdown. Put everybody in, yeah, everybody's going to be on lockdown. Well, that's probably going to happen anyway. It's going to be a shit storm no matter who wins. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If we even even find out who wins before he actually supposed to be an artery, because uh, they're going to clusterfuck this thing to no end. Yeah, recount, recount, recount. It's going to be a massive clusterfuck. 
Did you see the chart Grimm put up about a week ago with the, the uh, electoral college tying in the vote? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that, would, uh, that would be okay. funny. It's, but it, it shows, just saying, it's possible they did the math and this could happen. Not likely to happen. But what if that yeah. did happen? <laughs> well, anybody oh, paying attention to the actual uh, demographics on the ground, yeah. uh, if, if, if it's even close, they're fucking cheating. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. If, if, you, if you gauge it by the people that show up when they speak. Oh, okay. Well, if you gauge yeah. it by the support they get overseas from other English-speaking countries, Trump is the favorite. Yeah. And and I would agree with that. that. Yeah, Biden's the liberal that, well, they're, they're suffering from the same shit in, uh, in yeah. Australia that the uh, Americans and the Democrat-run places are. Yeah, it's like, called ethnic yeah. politician fatigue. Well, they got the power. Oh, come on, if that was you, Rob, you'd be sitting there munching your cigar, patting your little girl on the top of her head for doing good work, and enjoying your wonderfulness. Come on, don't lie. Don't yeah. lie to us. No, 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 it's not me. If, it, if okay. I wanted it to be me, I'd be doing that. But exactly, well, uh, people don't get that part. All you got to do is be willing to do what you're you, fucking told. That you can have a future in politics. No, you just got to be willing to step on anything and anybody that gets in your fucking way. Or be used by people that... Yeah, and willing, willing to suck up on some Jew cop. Yeah, you said suck up. Uh-huh. You got the point. I mean, it's it's not like it's for the good of the people. It's for the good of the players. Yeah. And it's gotten so fucking out of hand, I can't understand why people are voting. What the fuck are you bothering for? Which one of these yeah. young idiots is going to completely destroy what's left of the country? Yeah. Or the only future you have to have anything to, from, to, to do or with or, or could do about it. Really? Well, I mean, when it comes down to, on to it, the Rob, people with the money is, determine what happens on the streets. Well, see, there you go. But you, I get so much. I, I get. I see one thing on the internet, and then I talk to somebody, and you go, "Well, that's overblown." Well, it ain't overblown to the people that live in it. It's only overblown to the people that don't. So yeah. Uh, well, the the people that are directly affected by this stuff, it's hell. It's terrible. But yeah. the rest of the folks. That's not happening in the Midwest. That's not happening in the majority of the country. Right, right, right. But in some of the very populated places. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the majority mass. It's the majority city. I, it, I think it's, it's really fucked up looking. I think it's the sickness of living in a big city where everything is concrete. That's the and part of it. Frequencies, yeah, shitty electricity, bad food, all these things one one on top of the other. Yeah, well, that's why I stayed away from uh, even Copenhagen for the last few years. Just didn't see the percentage, and I don't know. I felt like I was fueling a fire, so I went. I'm just staying in this little shithole town I live in. But now, over the last couple of months, the uh, intrusion started again on COVID. And it's pissing me the fuck off. Yeah. Just, come on. Enough is enough. Grow up. A bunch of fucking pussies out there afraid to get a cold. Damn. Yeah. Do all this. And now, see, it can't be that simple, Rob. That's the excuse we get. But it's really, there's bigger things involved in this. And if they tried to just talk to the public about it, I don't think most people would even understand what they were talking about. Let, let me tell you a common day in the boat. Cutting up fish guts with my with my knife, rinsing the knife off in the lake so that I could eat Vienna sausages in it after having worms all over my fingers and picking up the Vienna sausages out of the can with my fingers. My immune system is huge. It's great. I haven't had a cold or the flu since I was a teenager. 
I don't get that stuff. I don't get sick. Yep. That's what you're supposed to tell us. Yeah, stuff. you've got to build new chemicals all over your body either, do you? No, absolutely not. I will not use sunscreen. That's poisonous. And that's just one thing. I don't outside on my nose. Yeah. But one thing to choose from from the list of poisons that are legal. Yeah. They're legal. Yeah, and they're, they're legal, legal, you bet. And they're recommended. from a lot of shit for use. And then they, and tell, you that, then they tell you that they're going to protect you from a, a, a virus. Yeah. Our yeah. damn lion tricks. Wait. Yeah, the sun is more harmful than this poison cream we want you to put on. <laughs> it's less harmful. Yeah, we've only been living in it for, what, 100 million years? Yeah, but at least. See, yeah. that's what government and propaganda does, Rob, is it takes the weak-minded and it gives them a, something to follow. Because they're not, they're not equipped, apparently, to... Challenge anything, and if, even if they're fucking wrong, I mean, at least you have the ability to say, "Hey, maybe that's not true." Yeah, crying out. That's when they came mad. out and said eggs were bad. But it's <laughs> more <laughs> important to be uh, popular and fucking liked than it is to be telling the truth. Mm-hmm. Well, the World Health Organization just backtracked on the mask thing. They're saying that that's worse than, than not wearing one. That's making more said. people sick. Yeah. Right. And what ev- uh, everybody that does radio on the RLN is uh, some version of that. Yep. Yeah. And a lot of other places, too. <laughs> so that leads there's, me to one. There's, okay. there's a lot of, lot of people 20, out there. 20% of the population is leading 80%. Worse than that. Yep. That's a democratic society. What the fuck is going on here? People were doing things wrong. <laughs> like a hog with a nose ring. Just keep them from rooting. Yeah, this pain in my ass indicates I am doing something incorrectly. What could it be? Uh, believing that the corona thing was ever real <laughs> is a nice start. Today, I'm telling you, I still have that smugness about me. And when I was out today, it was raining when I was out early. And I saw people in masks, a couple of them, because I went farther up than I usually do when I don't wander. And it, it still, it's disappointing to see it. And, uh, and I wonder, do these people really understand what they're doing to their self? In the long run, by this mask thing that they're portraying. <laughs> well, I don't know what to call it. It's not, it's, it's, uh, I forgot what the word was, uh, but it's it's not the adults that are suffering were as bad as the kids. The the kids with a developing brain that bring in. Well, I'm still happy to report the young ones are not they, they are not mandated to wear the masks, and the parents don't push it on them either. So uh, like I see four and five-year-olds wearing a mask in stores. Okay, yeah, not here. No, not yet. Yeah, and that at that age, when they're, when they're young, their brain is still developing. And the breathing the CO2 prevents your synapses from connecting. I'm not sure synapses is, is the right word. Well, yeah, but, you know, just common sense. There's a reason you inhale. There's a reason you exhale. Yeah. You weren't born with this fucking thing on your face. It's, it's, yeah. an, it's an extreme measure for something dangerous, not a fucking uh, a piece of apparel that you're supposed to wear out every day to match your shoes. Yeah. And that's what they turn it into, a clothing apparel. It's fucking ignorant. I'm not yeah. shy about it. I'm tired of being nice. You know, and my wife knows that. She has to play the game and go on the train. And the bus and the I saw him. I saw him doing an orchestra the other day that had zippers in their masks so that they could play their instruments. Yeah, is that That's uh, ridiculous? What, yeah. what is the fucking point? Uh, and beside uh, all that, uh, if, if you don't understand dead tissue in the first fucking place, there's no way to convince you of 
anything beyond if you get sick, it's because I gave you COVID. That's all they know. It's just like a uh, like a religious chant. Yeah, totally insane. Yeah, but who's playing all that up besides the media and the freaking politicians? The medical staff. No locals. Big pharma. Well, yeah, the medical. The I've seen a few videos of doctors stepping forward, but they get banned off the of video YouTube right away. Oh, yeah, they had one with they had one with fifteen thousand doctors. We're all signed on to this deal. We're just saying the mass and lockdowns are all bullshit. Whole things, yeah, no fucking scam. I didn't know it was that man. Fifteen thousand. The guys that invented the original test said that it wasn't for anything but test purposes, that it wasn't well, accurate. Yeah, I've said that all along. Right. Yeah. From the get-go, I, I said the test, there is no test. I've said that from day one. They don't have a test. They don't have the capability to yeah. isolate the virus. They've already yeah. admitted that. If they can't Did isolate the virus, how the fuck can they test for it? Could you see this government let loose with a real virus? Do you think they'd tell us? Oh, no. I don't think they'd tell us. They call it national security. Yeah. You know, for national security purposes, we're going to keep this quiet. <laughs> People are are not dying. You, you're just imagining things. Go back to your TV set. Yeah. And that's, what I, that's how I see a real government dealing with a real problem, not, not this help you help, do this for your health. Bullshit. They should have known better when they were told that. Yeah. <laughs> well, they should have known better 50 years ago uh, when they were telling us to smoke cigarettes because they were good for us. Yep. Well, Doctor recommended. Went a few, okay, but you went a few. You like the Marlboro man? Get a fucking clue, people. Okay, I don't have to win every game I play. <laughs> 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 All right. So the smoking game was not a winner, but other things that I I was told, you know, as I was becoming a, a grown up, turned out to be a load of shit. Somebody yeah. really wants and, to talk to you, man. And that and that especially my my wife was brought it up today on the chat room about legal ease is for lawyers. It's not for us. All this ignorant fucking people and they're voting, all they're doing is they're giving their power to some fucking lying prick so they can stab you in the back with your permission. And if you don't get that, look at the results of government for the last forever. <laughs> You're not winning. Figure it out. <laughs> anyway, I have ranted. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. You guys agree with me, so it's no it's not as much fun as if you didn't. We can't we have, have we can't have any argument. arguments. <laughs> um, oh yeah, we could disagree about stuff. Like but we can't argue about, about fact. Oh, okay. Here's yeah. something I I'm gonna question you about something as far as fact. Okay, like oh. I feel this is subjective to the person and other people think it's a fact and everybody has to agree with it. And that concept is that we are living on a sphere spinning through space. Sort of, kind of. It's not exactly a sphere, but it's close. <laughs> okay, it's but kinda, kinda to, have, to have any opinion other than that opinion gets me all kinds of fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I all I say to people is simply this, and I've been not been convinced yet. Show me your proof. That's all I want. Proof. So what is the swag off of a weld? That's your proof. How so? All the all the little beads of metal. Oh, you're just defining gravity, but without a real explanation. No, I'm, Boy, I'm defining the creation of matter. Creation of was it created or was it already there? It actually it's already there, and what we think of as empty space is full of all the components for it, just waiting to come together. Waiting for the yeah, right and they're so small that you need magnification that you don't have. 
to see yeah, it. Yeah, we can't see that kind of stuff. That's atom sized stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's so small that billions of them together make something still solid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, then how come there's I mean, first more to it than that. that it's not there, Larry? And, and if you read through them and, and think it through, they prove their point. I think it exists or they there open as a question. potential, but it doesn't come into existence until the proper frequency is initiated. Mm -hmm. Okay, that part they don't ever speak out loud, Rob. I've never heard frequency is all new since I got hooked up with Larry. Does Larry okay. believe in the Big in, Bang? In reading, in reading and stuff, I, that's never been a big uh, push issue to me where I was aware of it. So. That was a question in the chat room, Larry. Yeah, let's let's go back to the three basic things: the Holy Trinity. What are they? Frequency, which creates electricity, which creates magnetism. That's a toroidal field. That's the three things that everything from the smallest particles we can think of to the entire universe, everything has those three properties. If you take any one of them away, it doesn't work anymore. But you can do things to work with them, like eat. Yeah. It, it's, hard. It, it's hard for me to actually believe that I can feel solid things knowing that most of an atom is empty. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, how can I reach out and touch something if there's nothing there? I have to go right through it. So that concept for me is real difficult to handle. But yet, I know that the reality that I see is, first of all, my limited visual reality and my tactile realities. But knowing the science behind it, there ain't no way that your hand don't go through your leg when you reach down to touch your knee. It, it just doesn't work like that because there's holes everywhere. But I don't know. Maybe there's a dense enough concentration that you can't get through them. We have a question from the chat room. Uh-oh. Do you believe in the big bomb theory? <laughs> I definitely believe in the big bong theory. If you got iron lungs and can clean that thing out first, probably <laughs> you're going to sit back for a while, being like a buzzard sitting there on the couch just looking things over. Couch lock. Yep. <laughs> I think the real question was, do you believe in the big bang? Oh. I well, only said the big bong. He said the big bang before that. Oh, de wait a minute. I don't. Oh, I have a I have a whole different concept of that. As okay, here we go. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's us asking it. Yes. No wonder I couldn't figure. Okay, it. here we go. Everything has a toroidal field, right? That means that let's call them magnets. And they may be physical, but they may not be, and I really don't think they're physical. But let's say that they're magnets jumping out of the center of everything, making a big circle around and going back in the bottom. Well, our universe, as we see it right now, is expanding. That's because we're still on the coming out and, and going away from the center part. Pretty soon... I don't have any idea, maybe billions or trillions of years, but eventually we're going to get to the equator of how far out those magnetic fields can go, and it's going to start getting smaller. And everything's going to come back in to that south pole and go back up through the middle. Well, the middle is the highest compression of anything. It's... I hate to say, I hate to use the words, but it is like what we think a black hole is today. Uh, it's the point of maximum compression. I just posted an image in the chat room. Yeah. Chat. Yeah. That's a beautiful image of it. 
and we're that eventually we're going to come to that very very center point and that's going to change the polarity and we'll shoot back out the top again and everything will start getting bigger but right now we're still on the getting bigger part uh, so we're, yeah we're I, a long way to I, I, yeah I believe in universal expansion but oh, I don't think that all change. of a sudden yeah, I don't think all of a sudden there was a big bang, a big explosion. I think this has been going on forever. And but if you if you if you consider it from that point in the center of the vortex there, coming out of that point, looking back in time as we do, uh, it would seem like a big bang coming from a single point of space. Yeah, that's the singularity that's, in the I mean, it, 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 it not only explains a more realistic uh, visualization, visualization of it, it explains why people believe there's a, in the Big Bang. It, it's, it's it, like a cell. When it gets to that very center point, there's only one cell. And then there's two, and then there's four, and then there's 16, and then there's... So right. it, it goes, it just goes like that, and that's the recreation of everything. Yep. It's and so, if you notice, if it, yeah. you notice the uh, the pathways that these lines are on that image, it kind of right. uh, follows the same right. pattern you have. Yep. It's the same idea. It's a spiral that goes all the way. All the way down and around and back through. Yeah. Just like the song, the music goes round and round and it comes out here. <laughs> well, that kind of, that's a buzzkill. <laughs> but, every, well, you're not going to see it. Your well, kid's yeah, not going to see it. I, I want instant everything. Okay. And I want you to explain to me how it works in a simple way. That's, that's, well, the, that's the marketing. Instant well, gratification. I'm just, you, I'm just telling you, in the long run, I saw the, the graph, and all I could do was get into this loop of never-ending spiral. And it just made me freak out. It was like, wow. So the, the beginning was when that first banker's wife cashed her first you know, check from, a, uh, you know, from an from interest rate. Post. Yeah, that first interest payment made her come in her drawers yeah. because she could go buy the goat. And here we sit. You know, you know, all well, these years later, arguing about the same stuff in different languages. Think, think of this one picture as our universe. Mm -hmm. And then think of a whole bunch of these. Mm -hmm. there, there could be other universes all around us that are all doing exactly the same thing. It's like throwing a bunch of pebbles into the into the water. They're all going to interact with one another and create that agitation. It's like right. all the other but, patterns. But the, the arguing about who's right and who's wrong is, is what traps a lot of players. We've already established that everybody else is wrong. I'm the only one in the whole wide world that's right about anything. There you go. And there's only 8 billion of us that play that. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> here we are. Guess what? Yeah. Yeah. We, it, it, theory and religion are the same thing. It's mm -hmm. somebody's idea of what might be. Good point. Yep. Because I got a theory, and my theory goes like this. I really yep. don't care. Yeah, I, I try to care about stuff sometimes, but eh, so much work. Good God. Well, I learn the starving, all this math. The, the starving children in China. I mean, come on. I got to worry about this stuff, right? And I don't, because I just don't think I care. But, you know, if there were starving people in my neighborhood, I do something about that. Yeah. But we seem to live in a pretty, you know, comfortable place where people don't go without shit. 
So you're lucky. So far, so we lost our beggar, our Romanian beggar, left about a month ago. I haven't seen him since. Huh? Yeah, he comes in. He cold. Well, that's never stopped him before. Usually, he, he'll leave when it's warmer to go enjoy Romania for a little bit with his family, and then he comes uh-huh. back to do his begging thing. He <laughs> sends money home. Uh-huh. And and when he's missing, it's just something I notice because I've been here for six years. <laughs> home. I live in a place where I don't speak the language, and I just love it. <laughs> it gets better every time I go out. It just gets more interesting. I went to a store today where they had a lot of uh, artsy signs in English. And I thought, what the fuck? We're in the middle of nowhere. So I <laughs> was drawn into the store, and the woman's real helpful and all. And I just told her, I just haven't seen this much English in years. <laughs> I had to come in and read it. <laughs> so, yeah. wow. it, but it was... It, uh, it was the American, I guess, Ameri- I don't know about where it was made. I didn't look for that part of it. But it was in English, which in Denmark, you don't need English. You need Danish. Mm-hmm. But it's just another indication of that. When, you know, Sir told me they, they make them learn English in school. So most everybody here can either le- read it or understand it. If they can't speak it, they know what you're saying. Yeah. Twenty twenty fuck's sake. I mean most yeah. of them traveled somewhere. They've been yeah. around a little bit. Yeah, all this all the textbooks in Indonesia were in English. Yeah, well I wonder how that worked out. Yeah. Actually it worked out real well for us. <laughs> oh, yeah, for you. And the Queen too. Whoever, yeah. whoever she hired to write the books. Mm-hmm. Maybe she didn't hire them, maybe she owned them already and they just did her a favor like the mafia. Yeah. I'll do this for you today, but let me tell you, down the road, I will need something. I will come to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be a good job to have. Hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? The Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> so you think Don Trump is going to win the selection? There, guys. We got a debate coming tonight. This might be an interesting night to watch TV. Why? What could they possibly say on a debate that would convince you to vote for either of them? I just want to see how big of a fool they each make out of themselves. Oh, that's different. (laughs) Yeah, get get out the popcorn and be ready to giggle because these boys are going to cut loose tonight. It's the last one they got. Last chance. Yeah. Well, you, well, you know, if it's going to be the same as last time, Trump against uh, Biden and the moderator. And, uh, but, but they get to silence Trump's mic for two minutes while Biden speaks. Yeah. That gives yeah. Biden two and, minutes to forget what he's talking about. In the in other time, they feel like it. But yeah. is pop, popcorn one word or two? It's one. one, I think. I think so. Okay. Let me try that. So, I don't. I don't eat the stuff, so I can't remember. Ooh, thank you, guys. I just I call a, that. This part is called politics and popcorn. This, <laughs> uh, just put a link to another uh, Taurus energy flow and zero point energy. Uh, the reality. Okay. The reality of free energy. Yeah, that's just another guy out there saying the same thing. Yeah. Um, somewhere in that video, there's an image of a Taurus there with uh, all the lines going around it in the, in that in that uh, uh, spiral. Um, yeah, it's anybody that's really interested in this kind of stuff, it's out there to see. Absolutely, and then there's people like me that aren't really that interested in the stuff, but we're interested in the results of the stuff. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> that's the whole well, point I'm of it all. It's well, uh, not mechanical like you are with the electrical. Yeah, right. right. I'd want to get a... Uh, we remember you want to be a menu. printer and you built your donut. I, I wouldn't be interested in all that. Yeah, this is a really good machine that he shows. 
Uh, it, I'm cheap. I'm lazy. I don't want to fix anything. This <laughs> machine that he shows has got bearings, and there are there are things that are eventually going to wear out. In ours, nothing moves. No shafts, no bearings, nothing to lubricate. You're done. Plug it in and go away. So so change the card day. every five years. Yeah. The uh, and not, not, even not, anymore. Anymore. not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. No, not no. anymore. That that car is completely eliminated from the system now. Wow. With what? What you With replace what? it or you just got rid of it all together? We got rid of it all together. On our system, if you put two fifty cycle motors and one sixty cycle motors on one three phase system, that'll give you fifty four cycles. We won't need the frequency modulator. Wow. See all you smart guys. We need you guys to do all this stuff. <laughs> and we, yeah, we we got beyond that one, and and that was really a major step forward. Now there's no oh. components whatsoever to to so run out. Is once they're done, a, set will run for three hundred years. I got a real question for you, Larry. Do yeah. you will it be necessary to train people? to do the labor on the project you're describing because it sounds so different than anything else that came before it. The buildings themselves will be wired according to international electrical code. The all, right, buildings so the physical, all right, so the physical labor is still the same. Yeah. It's the details behind what goes into that. Exactly. Right. What feeds that system. Good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but when the system is being designed to integrate with existing power uh, schemes. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not actually using any new materials that never been used before. You're just another version of what can Golly, be done, no. right? We're 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 LED lights, copper wire, whatever we make the donuts out of, and plastic to encase them, and the whatever enclosure we have to go underground to, to hold all this junk. Yeah, a fair decade. That's cage. it. Yeah, a fair decade. It goes underground. And that's all. None of it moves. We're going to encase it in plastic with a, with a military, in the beginning, with a military-grade connector on it so that you can't plug the wrong thing into the wrong thing. Oh, okay, so this isn't the same as the, like going out with a bucket truck to the big, the big things that are standing out there in the field, the no. transformers and all the that. Transformers, shit. no, right? no. This replaces all of that. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely, every bit of it. And how do you get your electricity from uh, what without wire? Okay, then it's we, on the no, location we, you're at, right? Uh, right. So it doesn't we, matter, right? We have transmission lines mm -hmm. between those boxes and between those boxes and the installation. Uh, what do the transmission lines transmit? Our transmission lines are 30 times smaller wire to transmit the same amount of electricity. And since we have these boxes every 100 feet, then... That means that we can keep our wire size down small all the time. So you can run a Cat 5 between two boxes. Uh, well, yeah, on circuit number 12, that's our communication circuit, but we're not going to need to run a Cat 5 on it. The, the last circuit in the coils as we've got them designed now is going to be the communication system that goes back to to monitor your usage. Yeah, and that goes back. That goes back I'm just to the main about transfer. The, the connection between them. If you're using thirty times smaller wire for whatever you, you're doing, I mean, uh, what's the specifics? What's okay. what's what okay. wire sizes are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about number twelve wire for uh, for thirteen thousand two hundred volts. Okay. Uh, number and number twelve wire 
Uh, so that's no. that's going to be going between every box, every hundred feet. You're still talking about? Yeah, I, number number twelve wire. You'll be able to get six hundred amps out of, and it is normally rated for twenty amps. Right. So, um, well, how do you explain it simply the, the difference in the number? I mean, that's a big change for going through such a small piece of wire. Get the numbers bigger, right? Twenty amps, twelve uh, thirty. Along. Yeah, twelve twelve gauge wires is what they wire in your kitchen and your garage and your outside place. Okay, twelve right. gauge. Twelve gauge wires. That's standard yeah. house wiring, the standard garment. Yeah. Almost almost yeah. everything is done in twelve or fourteen gauge in in house wiring. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely everything is 12 or 14, or some of it's 10, but... The okay, yeah, your, your stoves and, and 220 stuff is 10. Yeah. But you can get more power through the same amount of wire? Absolutely. Okay. And our, our coil with only one Mobius on it is a 10 times multiplier. A three Mobius coil is a 30 times multiplier. Standard electrical formula... One volt through one ohm of conductor yields one amp. We put one volt through one ohm of conductor on a single Mobius and get 10 amps. We put one ohm through one volt through one ohm in a triple Mobius and get 30 amps. Uh, get <laughs> yeah. Well, it doesn't get hot because of the cycle. That it's run on, right? No. And well, of 60 it, or 50? It, no, the, the, that doesn't create temperature in it. That'll only create temperature in the motor. Okay, so the transferring through the wire does, okay, doesn't create any heat. It doesn't right. create heat because it doesn't have eddy currents, and it also gener yeah, creates, right. creates uh, what, what we're calling magnetic circuits. Yeah, where the, where the electricity is actually running along outside the wire on a magnetic circuit. Wow. See, this is wild stuff. Well, New the, stuff to me. The, the magnetic circuit can be used to turn a MOSFET arrangement into a magnetic relay simply All by right. changing the magnetic field that goes to that portion of the coil. So it's a converter kind of contraption, right? That kind of theory where you take this and you put this this little gizmo on it and it turns it into something else. Like a kill switch for your starter or your ignition wire, you know? Uh, that's what we've got on our neutral wire and everything else is hot all the time. Yeah, uh, that, yeah. that way the capacitors are always full and it's always ready to do its work and it's always ready to sell it back to the power company. <laughs> yeah, the good part, man. Yeah. See, that's the part where people are going to freak out. I don't think they're going to believe. The new people aren't going to believe that part. The old, yeah, old nobody believes that you can sell the power back to the electric company. Nobody even but has ever heard of that. that <laughs> but, Rob, that in itself, you would think that would attract people to this kind of a thing and it's yep. just such a slow mover that it's just amazing oh, if, if I, I had a product to sell I could sell the shit out of this hell yeah but you uh, can't do uh, it in America because the laws are working against you wow. yeah See? I don't care I would move what as soon as, soon well, as, soon as we got a orderable product I am ready to hit the ground running. Yep. Well, you have your first employees. Today. You can order Good just as many of them as you want and sell them over again. I don't even want a paycheck. I just want an expense account. <laughs> wow. You guys are some wheeler dealers. You know what I want? That's I want and go. I want, nah, I want to stay here and break time with a little, little setup I got. It's comfortable. So. Nah, I don't want to change nothing. You can do that. Oh, I could do anything I want. See, I'm one of those people, Rob, that knows. Just put your mind to it. That's all it yep. takes. Yeah. Step, you, 
take a step fucking in that direction, wherever direction it is, and keep going, and eventually you get there. Well, you know what you can do from your little uh, cottage there in northern Denmark? It makes my wife and the dog and the cat happy for me to do this. So I do. And it's not like a punishment, for fuck's sake. I mean, it's quite comfortable. So... But I could, could do anything that is you could go to America get an appointment. Be a rebel. You could get an appointment with the Minister of Energy there in Denmark. And no, I couldn't, because then I'd be doing commerce, and then it changes my whole. Uh, my you whole don't have to do it. All you have to do is hook it up. Well, I, we could talk about this off the radio, sure. but. As far as hooking things up is that right now we're in I'm the talking way right down the road after we've got an established yeah. we're in the uh, hook thing crisis. going right but we're right yeah. in the middle of this freaking COVID bullshit yeah well I hate to but I, I got a friend in Sweden I know online sick of focusing on it <laughs> and I don't know how interested he is in electrical it never occurred to me to ask him but I'll bring it up to him uh, next couple of days when I see him on the mines okay because, you know, through this interweb, we are internationally connected. Yeah, that's right. A lot of people didn't know that. And there's a yeah, lot of places we're going to be able to know. Is the world. Oh, fuck no. There's no, there's a lot of places we're going to be able to go where this stuff will just be, they'll eat it up like candy. Yeah. Yeah, well, everything's dependent on this freaking COVID nonsense coming to its Thousands and thousands of islands. Please. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Denmark is a fucking of islands. Island. Exactly. Are you kidding? And they're, see, and, but they're corrupt in the sense of they're stuck in that EU global wind turbine fucking bullshit. Yeah. You know, the replacements for oil are nothing but they're just oil in a different fucking order. Yep. It doesn't it's matter. You're still shit. stuck in the loop. And the thing that'll solve it all, they've made it illegal. So. Critters won't graze under a wind turbine. Mm-mm. And they kill birds and blah, blah, blah. blah. We've, we've talked all that. Over and over. Yeah, yeah, we've been over that. I'm coming to, Larry, is that the, the government here is so overwhelmed with EU authority in the inner workings that they're, they strap themselves to these fucking mundane, idiotic ideas. And they work better than oil so that if you complain about it, you look like an idiot. Yeah. But they overlook it's just the same still shit using, in a different form. Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah. still using petroleum products and all this, that, and the other. And it, okay, yeah. so they cut back. You're still, you're not paying any less. You're probably paying more for it. Once you get. It's they're like, putting up an electric vehicle car company in my area. That uh, means that we're going to have to build more coal power plants to generate the electricity that it takes to charge them stupid things. Yeah. Winner, winner. Yeah. It's all in the energy. And as long as they got idiots convinced that we need to do things the way we're doing them, and they'll continue this way. Batteries are hazardous waste. <sighs> Every five years, another ten grand for those massive railroad car batteries that they put in your car on the bottom. All those lithium batteries under you are ready to explode just as soon as they overload during the charge. Well, have you heard any good news about the lockdowns, the international crap? Or is it still where it was last time we discussed it? All I've heard is more folks are getting locked down. England's trying to do it again. Oh, yeah. They're all going to the level three lot now. So, they're hyping the hard. But how do they, how do they, can, I think it's just forced. I don't think anybody's complying with signals. Can't be. No. I mean, it doesn't make any sense that we live amongst people that are this ignorant, that they'll punish themselves and call it a, a way to stay safe. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a kid on a fucking bicycle today, swear, riding his bike with a mask on. Yep, About right. made me, man, I'm smoking a cigarette. Seen that a few times here. Yeah. yeah I saw I'm a lady jogging with no one anywhere close. 
with a NASCAR. Make me want to bust out my pellet gun. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you're going to pay, see, and yeah, the, all the COVID is, crap is, is going to be real because of the mandatory things to save you from it. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the fix is going to be worse than the problem itself. <laughs> it always and is. All the it true sheep is. will still wear them. All the true sheep will still wear them when it's all over with. Hmm. Yep. Really? You think it'll be that? Come on. How long can this go on for? The poor truth. people just had a fucking enough of it. It don't matter after it's over with. 50% of them idiots that are wearing them now are going to continue to wear them. Yep. Wow. They bought in. We got them so brainwashed, they, they are afraid to look at somebody. Okay, I don't I don't see it. Though. It's that bad here yet. But, wow. No, not that bad. Uh, but, it, uh, it's, <laughs> yeah, it is fucking... Uh, See, to me, it's still just a big joke. I can't take this seriously. It's getting to the point of serious annoyance. Well, one of the cashiers down at the grocery store I like to go to, he's an older fellow like myself, but he's Danish, of course. And when the cashier tells you at the end of your thing, they tell you your total. It's a tradition or a thing the store makes them do, whatever. And. And he tells me my total plus about a thousand every time in English. (laughs) 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 While he's laughing, you know, (laughs) uh, but you get the American discount, and today it's only. uh, (laughs) So, yeah. And this poor guy's stuck in the store. They don't make him wear a mask, but they make him wear gloves to handle all the stuff. But in the long run, okay, and he's not an idiot, because me and him make jokes about all this. In the long run, he's handled 500 people's shit by the time he's handled my shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just got everything that went through him all on my shit. Yeah, they got to change them gloves every time. On every it, No, he doesn't. It, they don't do that. That's what it means. This is how useless this stuff. Yeah, it, yeah. So, you know what? I, I decided to do that. Right. Hmm. <laughs> I got an immune system like you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I engage it. Yeah. Your immune system is tempered in raw oh, shit. <laughs> yep. I this smoke guts from Vienna sausages. Hey, <laughs> I smoke anything you can stuff into my pipe. Oh, really? <laughs> Fuck, I don't give a shit. Well, if it's going to get me stoned, I'm going to smoke it. There you go. Okay. So, from that standpoint, I don't have you know, the, the health of a, of a guy my age because I have that against me. But yet, I can do a two mile walk and go get my shit at the grocery and nothing. It's like, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it, other people would complain about it and have complained. I got to walk to the store. And I'm going, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck is it? It's just, I'll go. Just to get away from you bitching about having to go off the way. Winner, winner. And then I get to go to the shit and get pick the shit that everybody else has got to have. <laughs> uh-huh. so, you know the old thing about the the servant is your master. <laughs> That's it. That's oh right. man, is that not the truth or what, Rob? Yeah. Do you still go to get tacos? Yeah. You still like your server? Yeah. Oh, it's a different one. She got fired. Um, oh no! But. Uh, yeah, she was my cutie. <coughs> but no, it was, yeah, it was there. Cool tea. No, the no I didn't go there for the server. I went there for the for the tacos. And they make a pretty good burrito. So okay, but I was making a point of the servant is the master. And that proved it because you're not going there for the server. You're going there for the food. Right, but the service here we are with COVID. The server eye candy. (laughs) With your attitude, the server could fuck up your taco stuff. Well, yeah, if I give that's common knowledge. You you be an asshole to your to your server, you're going to get something to spit in it or worse. Well, okay, but still, you're not having such a great time with all this COVID stuff. No, well, I don't go into the place. I drive through. Wow, that's, oh, okay, see, to me, that would be such a drag, because part of my ritual was to go out to have a meal and sit down. 
I mean, we do occasionally, and, yeah. and uh, I'll, I'll throw a mask on to walk in the door. Wow, no. I, I do. do I do. That's and not, not because I'm complying. It's because it's better to do that than have a big fight with my girlfriend. True. I don't hang it over know. one ear. Um, oh, as soon as I see Yeah, there he's way. As soon as we hit the table, the mask is off and in her purse. Because I'm not wearing it out the door. I'm only wearing it in. <laughs> Just to get past the Nazi at the door. But once yeah. I'm done eating, yeah. once I'm done eating, uh-uh. <laughs> I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't complying with your bullshit. What are you going to do, kick me out? Okay, I was leaving anyway. Wow, yeah. see, I, I feel so hypocritical if I give in to this thing. I know, I mean, if it was just me, if I go out by myself, or if I ever went out yeah. by myself, which I don't, but yeah. if I was by myself, fuck no, I, no, I would I would do the confrontation and, and say, nope, I don't wear those. And, I uh, mean, I mean, if, if, rob if, you. if I can't uh, uh, come in here because I don't have a mask on, then you don't get my business. And by the way, fuck you. Yeah. Well, in my mind, I'm trying to compromise myself and figure, eh, maybe I could do that, you know, and support the bar a little. And the more you're talking, the more I see chickening out at the end. And going, fuck it, I ain't going to wear this fucking mask shit. No, thank you. <laughs> and Cirque even gave me a cool pirate black one that she bought for her trips to the city. Yeah. You know, so I've got access to the fucking thing. I just don't, oh man, I just don't really think I could follow through and actually be comfortable going in. I would do something, and it's just to get up but and... But do you ever go with her? No, no, no. She, me and her don't, don't do... Where? Exactly. That, that was my little escape from the house. And the if, we were, and if we and her went out somewhere together, like to yeah. go eat dinner, you would do it for her. Tell me you wouldn't. Well, there's there's places to go to eat, but you don't need a mask. So you just go just to places where you don't need the mask. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, just the bar and transit. Yeah. That's what I mean. The two things that I would ever want to use are the only things that got uh, hit really hard by the COVID. Would yeah. be transit and bars. Yeah. But because I've been so happy being here, Transit hasn't been something I chased anyway, so I don't miss it. Yeah. But to have it taken away from me is kind of insulting. Yeah. That yeah, you always, you always had it there, and now it's like you, mm -hmm. you're you're being you're in a prison, so to speak. In a sense, yeah, yeah. By the powers that be, well, there's, I'm, there's, I'm, I'm I'm a willing victim here. I'm not I'm not being held too badly. The only yeah. thing is that. Yeah, it's, it's a matter of ego, I think. Because you know, yeah. I don't want to do something. There's no reason I can find, there's no proof that any of this is for my benefit, so I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Um, and it's my be See, yeah. there you go. And all that, and all that being, being said now, yeah. around here, um, I've never had anybody confront me or even look at me sideways when I don't wear a mask, when I go in somewhere Good. without a mask. So the people here really don't give a shit. They've already got the signs on the door. The restaurants do. You know, um, I think the grocery stores pretty much gave up on enforcing any kind of mask stuff. Um, yep. So, um, yeah, the attitude by generally around the people around here, the ones that want to wear them, they're wearing them. Um, but nobody's ever really fucked with me over it. Well, right. the Gestapo at the door ever mess with me. Yeah. And, you know, I put one on to go into a place just to appease my girlfriend. I mean, that, and that's, that's the only reason. And it's just it's easier because I have to live with her. I don't have to live right. with people. Right. I don't right. give right. a fuck what they right. think. But I have to live with her, so... Uh, I don't want to deal with three days of silent treatment and fuck you. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. <laughs> well, no, I'm not being threatened with any of that. But, this, see, the COVID thing is becoming real. And in my opinion is if you play along with it, you make it real by playing along with it. Yeah. Therefore, for me to go out there and 
and do the things I'm used to doing, if they decide yeah. tomorrow that they want to, you got to have a mask in the grocery store. Where the fuck am I now? Uh oh. You know, that, there goes my exercise that I've been depending on to keep myself you know, a little bit fit. Right. And they're, t- well, okay. And what little bit of Danish I've learned, I've learned it in the grocery store. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I can find stuff. Not always. Sometimes got to ask for help. But most of the time, I, I can find the product in Danish. So, well, yeah, just by looking at it. But is this melon ripe doesn't work very many places. The what? Is this melon ripe doesn't work many places. <laughs> is this melon ripe? Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just that so many people are against it here that, than there are for it. But, yeah, yeah, the people that get sick from it are the old people. And this is more yeah. a lot of old people here. So... Uh, it's a catch-22. I'll probably have to um, bend my... I'm uh, my still not out. convinced there's an actual virus. No, me neither, but uh, it's a matter of... Okay, it's a matter of how you treat people in public situations versus how you feel about the government playing a hoax on you. When the, the other people don't all know they're being played. Some of them believe it. Right. So, to them, I'm hurting them by not complying. It's fucked up, Rob. Yeah. Oh, man, I don't want to hurt anyone, but I don't want to hurt me either. I'm not stupid. I got more reaction out of the people that sat behind me at the racetrack when I didn't stand up for the fucking anthem. Oh, yeah, well, you know, if it gets to the to the grocery store, then it's a little bit more serious here. That's that's pretty much the gauge of it. You know, and they're threatening next week they're going to start mandatory masking grocery. So, eh. but... How many people can you, you know, you can't talk to them. It's impossible. This hoax has been uh, thought out and, and done by the best of the best. Oh, yeah. I mean, this yeah, their crazy. only problem is, is they can only get fucking brain dead minions to implement all this shit. <laughs> and brain dead minions are notorious for fucking shit up. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. What do you think? <laughs> and that's why yeah. they're, they're behind schedule because the Federal Reserve was a hundred year plan. They're seven years behind. Oh boy, that shit. See, and then you try to bring up money and people think they know all about money because they got a house and a car. Oh, I know everything about money. No, you don't. No, they don't. If they did, they you wouldn't brag about the house and the car they got. Yeah, I. <laughs> Who owns your house? The bank owns mine. No, they don't. Yeah, the mortgage is not ownership. Okay, correct me on the show. Ah. Uh, well, somebody thing. owns it besides me in circle, is mm-hmm. what I'm saying. No. And to, to live here right. in this time of 2020 and believe that you own the property you sit on is childish. <laughs> post that in the chat room, man. Fucking five-year-old. No better. You posted than it in wire. You didn't post it. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. You did. Wait, My bad. What? Never no, mind. I'll shut wrong. up now. <laughs> Magnomatics, magnetic. Yeah. It, this this is absolute proof that what we're doing works because we're just accomplishing all this in a little bit different way. But this shows how to use magnets and create energy as well as gears. They put a, a, a counter-rotating set of gears or set of magnets in this and get counter-rotating gears that have high torque. And everybody that works with magnets... Magnetic, magnetic transmission. Yeah. yeah, rotational field and magnets does not create high torque. Uh, but they have developed a way in, with this company to do it. And these folks have been on the market now for... Uh, yeah, for a while. Yeah, five or ten years that I know of. Yeah. Well, we we looked at them before. They have uh, uh, some other products, too, some uh, 
uh, linkages, oh, yeah. linkages. They got magnetic linkages that. Uh, yeah. You know how like the clutch in your car. Yeah. You know how a clutch works. Um, yeah. They've got them with uh, magnetics now, uh, so that uh, if you do break the the tension point, it just slips. There's yeah. No, there's no breakage, and there's no friction. No heat. Yeah. Because it's all done magnetically. Yeah, the, 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 the two plates don't touch. Well, the magnetic field does not generate heat. It's the electric yeah, they, field. They, they, they've got some really fascinating uh, technology. I've, I've looked at them. So, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, I, I really like magnetics. Uh, I started out thinking about how they did theirs and went through all kinds of funny gyrations with magnets and centers of coils and things, mm -hmm. but I, I never was satisfied because there was always something that, that could go wrong with it. Uh, but they've got their gearing down now. It's just beautiful. Yeah, I, I think that's definitely the future of mechanical uh, mechanical oh, yeah. interaction. Floating, floating bearings. If okay, say you want to float a ten thousand pound shaft, you yeah. can do that magnetically just by increasing the amperage. Yeah, you know, it, just it's a simple thing, uh, and. If you do that, you don't have something that's going to wear out. You don't have something that's going to get out of level ever. Right. Uh, because it never wears on any place. Yeah, the the giant shafts that they have on generators at the power, shaft, power company, they have to keep those rotating all the time just so that they don't sag as they go across the floor. Right. So... Just from gravity. gravity. Yeah. Just from gravity. Yeah. Because they're so big and so long. Yeah. So, it's, so they have to it's keep them spinning to keep the, the, the pressure uh, equalized. Yeah. All yeah. around the shaft. Yeah. If they didn't, it would warp. Right. And then it would vibrate the whole damn thing apart. Yeah, if you had one of those in a power trunk or in a dam, yeah, it, uh, it destroy it. The dam apart, yeah, it destroy it. Yeah, critical stuff. Yeah, that's why mechanical engineers and structural engineers have to get together sometimes to figure out what kind of harmonics the pad that you put the motor on will take. Yeah. They, yeah, yeah. concrete vibration frequency is powerful shit. <laughs> Absolutely. Here in Kansas City, we had a a, a domed uh, concert hall, a, a domed building, huge domed building, yeah. arena thing. Amphitheater. And they had amphitheater. That's it. And they had a truck pole in it, and the vibration from the truck motors made the ceiling collapse. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, just like a high C can bust a wine glass. Yep. You get the proper harmonic frequency of any any material, and you can set up a harmonic resonant feedback and create a harmonically induced resonance feedback molecular disassociation. Swallow that once you Well, try. thank you, Dr. Frank. And yes, Dr. sir. You did good on that one. No shit. Where's his and, PhD? And that's what 5G is, boys and girls. Yep. What is? Did I uh, miss another class? 5G is a harmonic weapon. He oh, yeah, I've read that. Big words and your mind shut down. Oh, my mind never was opened in the first place, Larry. Don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, good. <laughs> I, I just don't look like I'm paying attention. I actually do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just got this, like, way about me where people go, hey, aren't you listening to me? 
<laughs> what? Oh, yeah, sure. Heard every word you said. <laughs> you better listen next week. There's going to be a test. I just well, forgot, I just forgot to give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but when you guys get into your, your little story things about certain magnetic products, I just like to sit back and listen. It yeah. doesn't mean I understand it all. It takes But you're still to... absorbing it. Yeah. You're still... Sure. sure. Still, going well, in I've learned... still going in there and in the, into the dark recesses of that thing you got in your head. Well, I've learned enough from you guys to know that there's a lot more people out there that are like you guys that are doing the same thing you're doing. Same thing. Smaller level. They're just We don't connect. But they're yeah. out there. Well, that's why I say it's coming out. No matter what, there's way too many people doing it and chasing it right now, uh, more than well, ever before. Uh, see all the coincidence of government lockdowns and keeping us apart and all that shit. Yeah, and, and they know, know it. Of, of course they know it. They're trying to get another puppet in there to get some more control down our... Uh, yeah, they're trying to lock it all down before it all breaks loose and, and they lose it. You know the little plastic spirals that you hang off your patio that spin around in the wind? Yep. Okay. If you get an old alternator that still works out of a car, out of the junkyard? What year? It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> that, that will give you AC. <laughs> and if you build a, a thing that sits on that shaft that spins, put it vertically and build a spiral shape like that that's large and very light material, then that will give you AC voltage. You can run lights in your house off of that and at least get part of your of your power bill shut down. Yeah. Uh, it won't be consistent. It'll only work when the wind blows. <laughs> it, it, will, yeah. it, will give, it will give you some additional power. You can charge batteries with it if you want that. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it'll charge your trolling motor battery real good. Well, people are getting to the point where they're running. They're running desperate now. Yeah. It's well, just it's just the wheels starting to crack. It'll probably really crack good after the election's over with, and they got time to think and figure out what the fuck happened in the last year, and then they're going to get pissed and shit's yeah. going to change. Oh, yeah. Sure. Let's hope. Oh, shit, man. Well, it wouldn't w work into the plan if they did it before the election. Uh, and it's been publicly stated that uh, Trump did 432 to the 5G system. Yeah, and it's been publicly stated. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What does that mean in idiot talk? Allow me to go look. <clears throat> yeah. Trump, Trump using supposedly using the four thirty two frequency. Uh, that oh means, yeah, I did read that too a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. But where did it say where specifically, or he's changing the whole United States over to 432? I, uh, I think it's the whole United States, but I really do not know. <laughs> kind of makes you wonder what the fuck is truly going on, because this Trump idiot, he's from the, one of the shittiest families on earth, just like Bush, just like Yeah, Clinton. but... And, Nothing this man can say in my lifetime is ever going to make me like him. Okay. But what? but what? what I do hear from you guys is him opposing the state. It doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. But he's, his folks got hold of all of Tesla's papers. <laughs> yeah, uh, I know that. Uncle John. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And... He, he, the general that I gave the the frequencies for 5G to, gave them to Trump. I also gave that general the frequencies to operate that Tesla tower at. Mm -hmm. And if Trump changed to 5G to that, that means that that Tesla tower is going to be changed to to the proper frequencies. And if that truly happens, 
if that truly happens, it won't take many of those Tesla stations around the country to create free power for everything, for everybody, flying cars that we come. So it it could be a really, really fantastic future, or it could be part of the group that's telling him what to do behind the scenes, and nothing will happen. Oh, but, yeah, fake promises. Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't weigh that into the balance. Yeah, See, I'm living well, in, I'm, I'm living in La La Land. say one thing and do another, but Trump normally does what he says. So I don't really know what he says, so I don't know what he says he's going to do that he does. What, what you he's guys. advertised as saying. But well, I, just, I listen to a lot of the stuff that he does. Okay. Well, I am seeing well good luck articles. with it, because it looks like you're going to get four more years of him, whatever that is. Yeah, if, if we get four more years of him and he does the right thing for the people and gets us into a, a hard currency, mm-hmm. yeah, things will be good. Uh, I think the currency is a little bit out of his reach, but you're going to be on something. I think we're already on, if you use the electronic banking system already with a card, some kind or another, you're already on it. Yeah. All they'll do is just add you to whatever they come up with. But if you're not on it, that's where the trouble's going to come, is people that like cash that don't want to be, hey, wait a minute, I can't what? Yeah, yeah, then we should have some fun with that. Cash will only change hands on the black market. Yeah. Well, you're already a crook if you got bigger than, what, 1,000 kroner bill? No shit. Yeah. So ten, uh, fifteen. Though I think the last time I did a euro exchange around about a year ago, six months, something like that. That it was a hundred kroner was like worth fifteen dollars American, fourteen eighty something like that, fourteen ninety. Go, up, go went up and down. But that's really not a lot of money. A hundred that was a hundred a uh, hundred kroner. So a thousand kroner be like a hundred hundred fifty dollars. And yeah, you're not allowed to have more than a thousand kroner on you. They're, well, they're, no, they're pushing to make the bill uh, obsolete, so you can't use it. Oh, just because... So, okay. so it's already got the reputation. If you have a thousand kroner bill in your pocket, it's bad money. It's you're a drug money. dealer. Yeah. Or, or, you or you're a you money launderer or something. Yeah. Because all this... The only people, people that use those kind of bills are the people that are doing something nefarious. Yeah, I get yeah, the mentality. People with cell phones... And cash at the same time. What? Yeah. And you're not using your phone? Huh? See? See? Yeah. Yep. Already outlaw. Sigma. But, you know, I'm not going to live that much longer any fucking way. You know, 20 more years is probably my expectancy, you know, if I take care of myself. But, fuck, 20 years of this crazy fucking world of do just about anybody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can I we, put up with it that much longer? We need a Billy the Kid or a Black Bar, Captain Cook. Hell okay. yeah. And we get Joe Biden and fucking Donald Trump. Give me a break. <sighs> but Larry gave him a, a good report. I don't know. What can I say? You know, in, in foreign countries, America is the devil. <clears throat> your Your influence, the American influence is just too much. It needs to go a way o. <laughs> but yeah, that's where we are. Um, that's how we portray ourselves. They get to watch keeping up with the Kardashians over there and figure everybody's like that over here. Oh, I heard that in Scotland for a bit. You know, well, yeah, we thought everybody in America is rich from all the TV shows. No, yeah. not quite. <laughs> no, there's normal people too. They just all smoke funny green plants and they wear funny clothes. Yep. Yeah. Give a shit about what yeah. anybody else thinks. <laughs> well, actually, see, there's again, it's an objective. Sometimes I do, and sometimes I don't. Like, like today, 
at the grocery is usually my big encounter. An older woman with a, a walker thing trying to get around, and I was trying to make it easier for her to get through. Yeah. Yeah. So, ah, uh, but I remember I did it. Yeah wasn't like a big act of kindness or anything, but I could have been a prick and pretended I didn't see it. Yeah. But I don't. I'm not, see, I'm only mean on the radio and in the chat room. <laughs> in person, I, I'm just like a 150-pound marshmallow. <laughs> All right, 145. Hey, before we come to the end of the show, uh, did you have anything interesting for Monday, Larry? Uh, yeah, uh, you know, like I say, we've got electronic genius that works with us, and uh, he came up, we, we explored his circuit, and gave everybody, a, a, this part of his circuit looks like this on the wiring diagram on how you hook the wires up. This part of this circuit looks like this. We're getting flashcards made up. Uh, okay, let's let's just take MOSFET, which is a funny word for transistor. So a MOSFET does two things at once. A transistor will let it go either direction, and a relay is a magnetic one of one of either of those. So that's three different things that this one pattern of hooking the wires up will will take the place of. Okay. And uh, so and and each different section of our wiring diagrams is a different electronic component for this for the switching coil. And we've got worked out every electronic component how to make that through the coil without the electronic component how to make the coil do that job uh, so now to get the electronics people because a wiring diagram and a schematic are two different things a wiring diagram tells you where to put the wires right. a schematic shows the components as they are attached to one another. Right. Okay, uh, it, it's two different looking things. And our electronics guy just cannot relate to a wiring diagram. So we're, we're getting the flashcards made. Uh, <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> that, that sounds funny, but once we get these coils encased in plastic we're going to have to figure out some way to know what that coil does so these different flashcards are going to be the symbols if if that coil has two capacitors and a and a mosfet and and a relay in it then these are the symbols that go on it and this is the order that they go in and that will tell you exactly what that coil does. Right. Makes sense. Well, universal uh, label system. Yeah. Yeah, it's oh, going to be like a spaceship landing with the hieroglyphs around the outside edge. Does That was the owner's manual. If it's fucks up and lands, come out and look and, and read your book. But the snickering was because of the similarity I saw. Yeah. Because some things, you can explain them to me a hundred times, and I nod politely and still sit looking like a monkey with car keys. It just doesn't <laughs> translate. I, I don't know why. People have called me. Yeah. Well, I mean, like you said, the, the, the concept for, especially for a guy who has done circuitry all his life, uh, all of a sudden you're saying, oh, you can do this with just wiring. Yeah, that will, what? Are you hit? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. understand yeah. all that. Change is drastic, especially yeah. getting old. When, when I first started talking with these guys in October of last year, uh, every single one of them's cup was full. Oh, every yeah. single one of them. And yeah. by the time I got them 
turned around to 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 the rest of the story, then everybody's on board now. And the one guy is just having trouble physically accomplishing what it, his mind can't handle. Believe me. <laughs> Yeah, he he can't he can't translate mm -hmm. my pictures into his pictures. Exactly. Oh, I, but I can translate his pictures into my pictures. Yeah, when people try to tell me a verbal explanation of something, and I can't see it, what they're saying, I get lost immediately. Yeah, yeah it's it's not even fun. a matter of belief. It's just a matter of yeah. How, yeah. how yeah. does that happen? Yeah. How can you take how can you take a bunch of water, <laughs> wrap it around a fucking donut, um, and just based on the way you hook it up, you got twenty four wires or whatever coming off this thing, and just depending on what order you hook these wires up, you can create transistors, MOSFETs, capacitors, mm -hmm. uh, you know, relays, uh, all these things. And how the fuck does that happen? But, and he's only using one circuit out of a 12-circuit coil, uh, the the uh, switching coil, and he's getting a thousand times more out of a spike that he gets. And that spike, after it hits its peak, it resonates above unity for the rest of the of the sine wave. Okay. So, just just from a spike that he's creating out of one circuit, and there's there's twelve pancake coils in here, and I'm calling each one of them a circuit. Out of out of one circuit, he's getting all that. Once he hooks the whole thing up. There ain't no telling what he's going to be able to get. He's the high voltage guy, oh. but he does it all with electronics. Okay. Yeah, he's running his electronics yeah, if can, through the coil if he can, through one circuit. <laughs> well, yeah, once he grasps the full breadth of what you're doing and what you can do with these coils, yeah. it's going to be like he's unleashed because oh, absolutely the the, the the limitations he's been dealing with with these components he's been having to work with, or yep. it's it's with and the no heat, uh, the no heat, the speed of switching, the the MOSFETs don't burn up. There's no way you can burn a MOSFET up because all we're doing is magnetically switching the polarity. That's yeah. it. That's all that circuit and our coils do. Yeah. So, yeah. And once you get one of those set up, which comes through the hallback array in the spiral coil that gives you 12 volts AC, which nobody in the world can do, once you get that hooked up into it, that gives you the polarity switching back and forth from positive to negative on the entire circuit. And just think, this that whole system is, is powered by that one little hallback array. And it just sits there. All this stuff you've done so far, all the amazing uh, breakthroughs you've made, and this is just the ground floor. It's yeah, like, we're just getting started. We're just, we're just putting started. it together. We're, we're talking about different transformer configurations now with the coils facing some of them vertically and some of them horizontally. Okay. Just just to sandwich the field. So our whole thing is we let the magnetic field expand and then we compress it. And then yeah. capture it in the ring as the as the wire goes around the toroid. Yeah. That magnifies it in the vortex and it gives everybody it reduces the resistance of the wire magnetically. The more loads you put onto it, the higher the magnetic field, the higher the magnetic field the lower the resistance. It always wants more load. Yeah. So, with there's just it does such amazing things. Yeah. And the magnetic circuit that you can't read on the meter, but you can hook a load up to it, a resisting load up to it, and it works. Yeah. That's. 
It's just amazing to think about, you know, you're just getting started. Yeah. And, you know, where is this going to be in 10 years? We we can do cars. We can do planes that never have to land. There you go. There's a drone that never has to come out of the air. Yeah. Except, except to rearm. I put yeah. a laser on it, and you're you're done. Well, let's not sell so, those people. Is that all right? <laughs> Well, yeah, a, a helicopter that never has to come down. Yeah. Uh, an airplane, a passenger plane that's run off a of magnetic spin on the on the jet turbines instead of gas. Or just or an anti-grav. Uh, yeah. Pod, do, do an anti-grav system on them and there'd be no need for airplanes. Everybody's car can take them wherever they wanted to go. Exactly. Free. At no Mark. power plants added. <laughs> At Mach 42. <laughs> yeah. And well, depends on how big a magnet hey. you put into it. Grimner uh, says most electronic um, tuners, tuners yeah. these days. Oh, there you go, Rob. Oh, include a 432 setting, HD setting. Yeah. Wow. wow. Okay. Well, yeah. So if it's there, it's, o- it's obvious you can use it. It was, it was. It had always been 432. They changed it to to 440. Now, yeah. Okay, yeah. you guys have talked about 432, but maybe you ought to do a little bit more and, and see what, if there's anything more to find out about it. And do it next week. Yeah, we can have a show on 432. Might be bigger than I think. <clears throat> Just suggested to you. Yeah. You guys. <laughs> well, it's the most old nine. It's a it's a vortex uh, math. Uh, we come number. to the end of the show there, Wilbur. Yeah, we've got about four minutes. But, so I uh, sent Grim his notes. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you want to do that next week, Larry? Do a show all about 4.32? and Well, maybe not all about yeah. it. Well, no, part of the topic. show. Part of the show. <laughs> First hour, maybe. Yeah, benefit all right about 4.32. Okay. The benefits. I mean, to get, in, the get yeah, into the rife frequencies and all that kind of stuff again. Yeah, and, and body frequencies and mind frequencies ah, and, and so. organ frequencies in your body. Yeah. yeah every yeah, every, every element. Okay, everybody's heard of the periodic table of elements, right? You know, sure. if they went to school and had any kind of science class, they saw the table of 105 or whatever elements. And uh, if you learned anything about it, you learned that each of those has an atomic frequency. Yep. Which is based on the number of electrons orbiting around the neutron, the nucleus. Um, So every element has a base frequency. And when you take elements and put two of them together, you create a molecule which has a, a, a aggregate frequency of the combination of the two atomic frequencies of two elements you put together, depending on how they interact. Does that all sound right to you, Larry? Absolutely, so far. So, organs and everything, everything has a frequency. Yeah. We've, we've said yeah. that so many yeah. times. So everything is vibrating at a a particular frequency. If you can create a resonant feedback, um, have you ever, have you ever taken a rope and just swung back and forth to where it makes those waves? That's resonation. If you can set up that resonation to, 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 Amplify every time that peak hits to knock it back. And I'm not explaining it very well. It's a hard visualization to explain. In less but than a minute. For, for every frequency that there is, there is another frequency that will absolutely cancel that out. Right. And there is a frequency that will amplify it and cause it to yeah. go... Off the chart, and yeah, it's like breaking the glass cause it to disintegrate, cause it yeah. to molecularly disassociate. 
Hey, I want to try that. Yeah, me too. Yeah. How do you? I, I quit the human race last Monday, but now I've got oh, a well, higher goal. I want to. I want to do what Rob just said. <laughs> you want to molecularly disassociate? Yeah, just you as soon as I would have to say it, I'm going to do it. You're right. Uh, that's what that, that's what that guy, that, what a Klingon disruptor does on a, in, in Star Trek. That's what that guy that twisted the metal did. Yeah. He disassociated Hutchison. the metal. Hutchison. Wow. Yeah. Hutchison. There's got to be a way to, yeah. yeah. It's not magic. People know stuff. Yeah. Well, sprinkling. Molecular disassociation. Like I told you a while ago, everything's got the three things. Just like getting yeah. hit with a disruptor. <laughs> I just thought maybe next week if we went in with a plan where to pick up on on the show, it might be a little, might roll a little smoother. And this You're topic might have a to lot. A tile well, there things. was a, there was a lot of links in the show tonight, so there's lots of stuff that people can check out if there is. Cool, cool, and that is it. That's a wrap. And, and fun, thanks. Thanks, thanks for everybody for listening. Thanks, guys, for being here. We will pick it up again next All week right, and talk about hanging out. 432 hertz. Yeah. And among other things. So there we have it. Thanks for listening, folks. See you next week.